modern war has been forever changed by technology. The up-and-coming UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicle, and UAS, unmanned aerial systems, have changed the paradigm of war. Each vehicle and system may have a different purpose and part, but the UAV has a unique history. First, their purposes. According to the UAVSA, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Systems Association, UAVs are used to collect data or to deliver a package, but are never used for recreational purposes. The data that they collect often involves finding the population density and using infrared technology for recon missions. Oftentimes, drones are used to drop off packages in extremely dangerous areas to still get the items needed to the people who may need them without a pilot possibly getting killed. Secondly, the UAS has many different parts. However, the UAS is not just the vehicle in itself. It is the vehicle, the ground control, and the payload. For the vehicle, its many components are the airframe, the propulsion system, and the navigation system, and its flight control system and the sense and avoid system. These things together are what make up the unmanned aerial vehicle portion of the UAS. As far as ground control goes, it uses system health and prognostics display to make sure that the drone is not damaged or compromised during the mission. By having navigation systems, it means that there doesn't need to be an in-flight pilot, thus keeping somebody out of harm's way. It also uses position mapping to help with navigation. On the ground, it also has an avionics flight display giving the controller on the ground the same display that he or she would have as if they were actually in the plane. And lastly, but not least, it must have secure communication systems to prevent interference and compromising of the missions. As far as the payload goes, it means dispensable loads, radar, infrared systems, environmental sensors, and sensing systems and scanners. Dispensable loads often include ammunition, flares, and supplies depending upon the mission. The radar imagery is sent back to the ground control to help navigate around dangerous areas and get to get to the drop zones. The environmental sensors help the controller on the ground avoid bad weather to keep the drone from malfunctioning or getting damaged, and the sensing systems and scanners help the drone avoid other aircraft in the area. Everything is used to help prevent damage to the aircraft, considering it costs 13 to 14 million dollars in order to buy the aircraft in itself let alone from training the pilot. Now, the history of the UAV has been an interesting one. Originally, the concept began as a balloon filled with explosives floating over the enemy lines in the American Civil War. However, that concept failed. After the development of missiles, it was only natural that the UAV would come to fruition. Beginning development in the 1960s at the controversial base of Area 51, 83 miles north-northwest of Las Vegas, Nevada, the first drone doled out by the U.S. government was the Fire Bee. Now, the U.S. has approximately 131 modern UAVs at their disposal, all of which are able to do package drops, act as short-range, in-atmosphere satellites, attack other aircraft, attack ground targets, and all can fly above the visible range of sky for the average person on the ground. Completely revolutionizing modern war by removing pilots from danger and being able to gather data through the stealth in the sky, UAS has had a, mod has had a major role in modern war. The complexity of the parts and the advancements in technology make UAS difficult to follow, but its ability to return make the aircraft work it. The versatility of the aircraft makes it one of the most useful tools that the U.S. has at its disposal. Although the history of this type of aircraft has been written, many believe that its story has yet to be finished.